going to tell you about two things. Within a half an hour of Nelson, BC. One thing that's good, one thing that sucks. One thing that sucks. The amount that I've seen out cold, the point where I think it actually might be my favorite movie. <laughs> I guess a question I've never asked is, Paul, is it possible to buy real estate where they filmed the 2001 snowboarding comedy classic out cold? <laughs> yes. It is, yes. Salmo's great. If you're looking for property in the West Kootenays, you're already looking at Salmo. And if you're not, I'm going to explain why you should be. If you like what you see on the channel, please like and subscribe. And I have helped hundreds of people find the perfect place in the West Kootenays. And I'm helping more and more people connect with realtors across BC every day. If you're trying to do any of those things, give me a call, give me a text, 250-509-0920. I'd love to help, it's what I do. It's only a 30 minute drive from Nelson. It's also a 30 minute drive from Castle Jar. Well, let me show it to you on the map. So it's an ideal central location for people that are in the trades or healthcare professionals or even consultants that want access to those three biggest populations in the West Kootenays. There are about 600 houses all together. It's about 1,500 people live in the village. It's a pretty cool little village. It is a real affordable alternative to Nelson. Now let me show you what I mean by affordability. I just kind of pulled out some random listings. This was the highest sale in 2021. It sold for 574. Now take a look at the house. It's a standard kind of a rancher. It's pretty well appointed. Had a nice kitchen, you can see it here. So this one, 815 7th Street, is sold for 620. When you take a look at it, not so hot. So you can just see the value differential right there. Salmo, 574, where you could pay 60, 70, even $100,000 more uh, in a market where sellers don't need to renovate to get that kind of money. Well, it was an epic day at Salmo today, and I mean epic. We saw about 33 properties change hands in 2021, and that's about average. We usually see 30 a year. And that's Salmo, a thing that's good. Now. Vancouver, good afternoon, Jazz 248, uh, direct Calscar 230. Jazz 248, Vancouver, good afternoon. We're ready to send 12,000 Calscar altimeter 3003. West Kootenai Regional Airport. It's not good at being an airport and having planes land. The problem is that it's built in a bowl of mountains that are often covered in cloud. So the planes can't fly. It's one of the least reliable airports in the interior. It might be one of the least reliable airports in the country. The aircraft coming in can't instrument fly because of the, I don't know what it is. What it means is that it sucks. You leave for the airport five hours early between Halloween and St. Patrick's Day, people don't even try to get out of this airport. They book out of the Cranbrook Airport, or they book out of the Kelowna Airport, or they book out of the Spokane Airport. They're all about three and a half hours. The Spokane option is a good option to have when there's not a pandemic on because the air travel is just cheaper. There were only two flight delays in December. That gets announced in the newspaper here. So if that doesn't dissuade you, those are the solutions that local people use. 